try to guess what your moon sign is. Either you could be, it's how your mother treats you and stuff like that. You could be an Aries, Taurus moon, Gemini moon, a Cancer moon, Leo moon, Virgo moon, Libra moon, Scorpio moon, Sagittarius moon, Capricorn moon, Aquarius moon, Pisces moon. What do you think your moon sign might be? Um, I thought it was a Taurus. No, your sun sign is a Taurus. Oh. Your moon signs your inner being, your mind, your emotions, how your mother treats you. Oh. It's how you feel on the inside. Okay, well, like, were you, like, a tomboy and your mom put you in sports and stuff? A little bit, yeah. Well, your moon sign is an Aries. <laughs> is it? Yeah. You're born with moon and Aries, so that means you don't like flatliners. You're fast and stuff like that. You only first. You're a winner. Blah, blah, blah. I have no clue. And your Mercury's in Aries. So that's how you think you communicate. Your Venus is in Aries. So your relationships are like a flash in a pan. And you get the heart of the matter. And your Mars is in Capricorn. That means you like to take your time, and sex, and you're slow. And that's how you get mad. And you work really hard at your willpower and your job or something, and you're money hungry or something. <laughs> I don't know. Most are signs of money hungry. Your Jupiter's in Sagittarius. It's your planet of luck and expansion and higher learning. So traveling, you'd be lucky with that and all kinds of luck. I don't really know. Um, your Saturn's in Taurus. That means... It's in, that's the, that's the sign of karma life lessons, discipline. I mean, your dad was in control of your money, and if you were a dick about it, he could take it away from you. He could give it to you like a business, and he could take it away from you. Is that what happened? Or, sort of, yeah. Really? And also, it, it, since it's in the sun, same sign as your sun sign, that means it's your ego, so you have a crumbled ego. So, yeah. And your, your, your anus is in labor, so like when you're weird, you just are normal. People won't think people won't think that you're such an outcast when you're just, when you're being weird and revolutionary. They'll just think you're normal and beautiful and balanced and crap like that. Okay, your Neptune is in Sagittarius. Well, that's cool. Your Pluto is in Virgo. So like whenever you get when you isolate yourself, you rather do chores and hard work and do whatever. And your Lilith is in Virgo, and people don't want to see you be in order and working and be analytical and critical. But you do it anyways. You become proud of it. And also, it's kind of contradicting sign that makes you um kind of like really messy or like super clean like your OCD suits to where like you can't do your chores because you thought about it, about it in a certain way you want it to only be in order and if it's not in order then you said fuck it and just like let it all go to hell you know and then is that how it is for you or not maybe a little bit you know <laughs> okay your north on is an Aquarius you are here to learn about astrology. You're here to be a friend. You're here to gain things in social media. You're just here to gain all this Aquarius revolutional futuristic bullshit. The end, and I don't know. You have, hold on, and that's just boring. But, um, but a bump. The way you heal yourself is your identity. The way you heal others is by being very generous and stuff. And your palace is in Aries, your Juno's in Cancer. Oh, okay. Your Vesta is in Aquarius. Blah, 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 you don't have time on none.